This video will outline how to develop a search strategy to help you with your research and assignments. Devising a good search strategy can help save you time and improve your chances of obtaining relevant resources. First, identify or formulate a research question or topic if you have not already been given one. Make sure that the research question is clear and focused. For the purposes of this video, our research question could be, explore the effects of video games on child development. Once you have your research question, you can identify keywords and concepts such as the nouns in your question. Eliminate any words that are not specific to the research question, such as the, of, or on. Explore and effects are broad terms which are likely to generate too many search results that might not be of relevance, and therefore may be best to leave out. The essential keywords in our topic are video games, child, and development. Next, consider synonyms of your key terms. Using a thesaurus can help you in this area. For video games, we could consider computer games, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, electronic games, or computerized games. For development, another term may be growth, and for child, words such as kid, children, and childhood. Then select appropriate databases within which to search. When choosing databases, consider factors such as the topics and subjects covered and the material types provided. For our topic, we could consider searching databases such as the Education Resource Information Centre and Education Source on the EBSCO host platform. Boolean operators can assist you with your search. Using the term AND searches the database for all of the specified keywords, using OR searches for either of the specified keywords and helps you to group similar keywords together and using not eliminates the keyword specified. Enter your key terms and play around with different combinations as they may generate different results. As an example, I could start off my search using the following combination of terms, video games or computer games and child followed by an asterisk, which is a truncation symbol to facilitate searching for various endings to the base word entered and development or growth. Some general tips for searching are to use less search terms or broader terms if you are not getting enough results, scan your results for subjects to provide you with other search terms to use, and scan abstracts to determine an article's relevance to your topic. Some databases will allow truncation, which allows you to enter the base of the word and the truncation symbol, such as an asterisk, to broaden your search to include different word endings and spellings. For example, entering child followed by an asterisk could return results for child, childs, children, childhood, and more. Some databases also allow for phrase searching, where it will search for the phrase in the order that you enter the words in quotation marks. For example, putting skin cancer within enclosed quotation marks will search for the words in that specific order. This is especially helpful if the words you enter are common in their own right. Consider if the databases you are using allow for wildcards whereby a character such as a hash or question mark can substitute for another character or number of characters. For example, entering orthopedic with a hash before the E can bring up results for both spellings of the word, one with the A and the other without it. This gives you a basic outline on how to devise a search strategy. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us online via our contact us form on the library homepage email us at library at mst.edu.au, call us on 9881 7823 or come in and see us in person at the library.